creating categorical by numerical interaction predictors for regression in SPSS. Now imagine that we want to predict the attitude towards smoking from exposure and smoking status, but that we want to include a moderation of the exposure effect by smoking status. Exposure is a numerical variable ranging from 0 to 10, and our first smoking status variable is the dichotomy. Non-smokers versus smokers, coded as 0 versus 1. So we can use this variable directly as a predictor in our regression model. We don't have to turn it into a dummy variable because it already is a dummy variable. If you want to model the moderation of the exposure effect by status, we have to create an interaction predictor, which is simply the product of the predictor and its moderator. So in this example, we have to create a new variable that is the product of exposure and status. We can do that in the transform menu with compute variable. We select exposure, multiply it by the status dummy variable. We have to give a new name to this variable, for example, expo status, with a label that could be exposure star smoker. Let's paste and run. A new variable has been created, so let's have a look at it. Its expose status with the label that we gave it. It's got no value labels because it's a numerical variable, as we can see here. And it ranges at least from 0 to 9.4. Now this is one way to create an interaction predictor. But what if we would use status 3? Status 3 contains three categories, non-smokers, former smokers and smokers. And we have to change this variable into dummy variables first. Another video tells us how to create dummy variables for this categorical variable. As a first step, we must make sure that its scale is set to either ordinal or nominal. Let's use ordinal here. Then we can go to transform and create dummy variables. Here we can select the categorical variable and give it a root name, for example, status. This will produce the three dummy variables. But note that we can also create the interaction predictors here. So if we include exposure and we add a name for exposure as well here, we must have one root name for each variable. And we ensure that we do not create dummies for scale variable values, because we don't want dummy variables for exposure. Then we can add a name here, for example, interact for interaction. And this command will not only create the dummy variables for status, but it will also create the interaction predictors. Let's paste and run. In the output, we see that we have three new variables for status, three dummy variables for st smoking status, non-smoking, former smoker and smoker. In addition, there is a new variable exposure for, for exposure, but it's exactly the same as the original exposure variable, so we don't need to use it. And then finally, there are three interaction variables, one for each smoker category. So we have the interaction for non-smokers by exposure, former smokers by exposure and smokers by exposure. Now if we want to do a regression analysis with smoking status, exposure and the interaction between the two, then we also need to include those interaction variables. This is explained in another video.